So trends come and go, but incorporating them in your current wardrobe, that's what we're here to talk about today. It's, it can be difficult. So Sydney Summer, fashion expert from Think Through Fashion, is here to discuss the fall trends and how to make those the right choices. Well, thanks for having me. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so I write a blog called Think Through Fashion, and it's taking what you see on the runways and celebrities and incorporating that into your wardrobe. And what's great about fall is there's so many trends that you don't have to spend a lot of money. And oh, you can good. incorporate that, and okay. you can work it in everyday life. Okay, so let's yeah. talk about some of these. Okay, so let's bring out our first model. So menswear was really big on the runway, and specifically the tuxedo-inspired menswear. So right. what we did with Clarice is we started with a basic black pant. Most women have this already, you know, just a right. slim black basic pant. And then we went to Zara, and we picked up this tuxedo blouse, and it's really soft. I love it. Great for work, you know, for the office. She could go out to dinner afterwards. But we're going to make it a little bit more tuxedo-inspired. So we're okay. going to button it up all the way. Okay. And on the runways, they did, you know, a tie. Like think in the Beatles, you know, those right. like thin black ties. Right. That's a little much Which for... Which that's getting a little scary. Exactly. It's, a, it's literal. It's, a little, it's very... Like for some people, yeah. for the average. <laughs> so it's a little literal for everyday life. Now, what we're seeing a lot on different people... Can you just hold this for a second? Thank you. Um, is buttoning it all the way up to the top. So you okay. really get that... Of course, you want to wear the shirt first, so the buttons are a little bit easier right, to right. button. But um, <laughs> when you have a, brand you have new a shirt. few minutes, you need to get yeah, in exactly. your hurry. And instead of the traditional tie, we're doing what I like to call the bling oh, bow tie. Nice. So we're going to layer a statement necklace over the shirt, so it kind of creates a more feminine bow tie. Because the it trick does. to wearing this trend is you really want to contrast the masculine with more feminine. Okay. Then we're going to add a tuxedo jacket to up it a little bit more glamour. And you'll notice this is satin, so again, it's yeah. dressier. Really now, did, soft. Did the, do you think, in your opinion, the fabrics have to match if the, if the pants are satin and the jacket is... No, definitely. These are not satin. These are just basic cotton, and this is satin, so it dresses Great. it up a little bit. Okay, and I then like we'll it. just give her a beaded bag. Nice. And now she's fancy, tuxedo-inspired. So thank Where are you, you headed Clarice? off to? Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Drinks. <laughs> it's only 9 a.m., yes. but... Okay, okay thank let's you. see the next look. So the next look we're doing, this is our print. model, Melissa, and it's prints, right? So prints are huge on the runway. Specifically, polka dots are huge for fall, and it doesn't mean you have to do black and white. So we did this top from Zara. It's black with blue polka dots. Okay. And then we did a tweed skirt. Mod 60s is very in, so okay. mini skirts with a little bit of A-line shape. And you can't really see the, the polka dots so much. Like, when I stand far away, I can't tell that right. it is a pattern, but when I come up, I'm like, wow, that is so cool. Exactly. It's very subtle. And the trick to mixing prints is you want to stay in the same color family. Exactly. So we hey, have, that's what you've done. Yeah, blue, black, and green, and then blue and black. And if we want to add an extra print, I love stripes and polka dots together. So we're going to do this black and white cardigan. Now, since it's black and white, it goes with the blue, black, right. green theme we have going oh on. Oh, my gosh, that's so and cute. And then a little bit of blue stripe to Tie bring out in. the... Tie in and it's very graphic and fun. You very definitely gossip look girl. Like you belong in New York City right now. Yes, definitely. <laughs> so, what would be a big faux pas that, like, if, if someone was going to try this, what would be something they would be like, ooh, don't you? You would say, don't do that. If you added more colors, because then it's getting a little bit too crazy. So, if she had a striped cardigan that was pink and or red, like a red or stripe on the purse. Yeah, you so, just want to really yeah. stick to the same color family. And if you're nervous, just do black and white. You know, just do all black and white prints. It's an easy way to get into the trend without. Good overdoing it. Good. <laughs> so you look so cute. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the third. So our third is actually what I'm wearing right now is color blocking. This is my favorite trend and you can do different colors. Now the trick is sticking to two to three colors. Okay. So right now I have different oranges and then I have yellow with my snake right. skin pumps. Another trend for fall. Love it. And what we're doing with Cindy is a jewel tone. So jewel tone is really big for fall um, and color blocking is continuing into next spring. I just got back from fashion week and it's continuing into the next season. So it's a good investment piece. Good. And we, we like did those. Yes, definitely. Because you can use it later, you know? So we did this top from Zara, sorry, dress, and it has this cool cutout on the sleeve and it's emerald, which is a really big color. And then we did a mustard belt just to cinch her waist. So that's step one. Okay. Now, if you wanted to go step three, you would add an extra color. So we're doing purple and okay. you can do different shades. You see this is a little bit darker purple. This has a little bit more pink to it, but it's still the same color. So we're just going to put this on over. And three and colors nude, max. Nude shoe? Absolutely. Nude shoe, yeah. You don't want to do too many. If you were doing, if you had a nude bag, you could do a purple shoe, but you really want, you don't want to look like rainbow to, bright. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, so now what are your tips? Like, where was this one inspired from? 
This one was inspired, I, I paint a lot, so I just love color, but if you don't know what to do, just look in the magazines. You know, Gucci, Fendi, they all have these bright colors, and just look and see what you like, and go into your wardrobe and see what's there that you can just mimic. Do you think there's any color colors you shouldn't put together? Like if you're color blocking, um, you know, I've seen, like on the runway you saw some really outrageous, and runway doesn't always translate into what you and I would wear, but what, what do you think are colors you should stay away from from putting together. Personally, I think you can do anything as long as you stick to the two to three color rule. Um, unexpected colors are really fun. Pink and red, huge on the runway, and it really or translates like yours, to your like, life. Who yeah, rust like and orange. And rust yellow. and orange. Yeah, I'm like yes. a sunset. San Diego yes. sunset. Oh, how <laughs> relaxing. Right. At nine in the morning. I almost borrowed that necklace, I have to say, for my outfit, because I was like, I need a little color, so you're lucky I kept it for your model. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for doing that. And also, if you're scared of doing the trend, you could do, you know, neutrals like you have, and do it with accessories. So you can bring right. in the purple, and maybe a right. pink cut for something a little more subtle. All right. So, so yeah. Erica, what do you think? Which is your favorite? <laughs> I like all the looks, but what I like about it is it's so much easier to see it on somebody else because those things I would never think about at home in my own closet, right. but once you see it on somebody else, you're like, I get it. I like it. And I it's all very affordable, which is great. I mean, a lot of people already have these basics. You already have a black pair of pants. You right. already have a fun clutch. So it's just buying a few key pieces. tuxedo shirt or something that exactly. mimics that. Just update I it. have to say, I like, the, I like the, the mixing the different patterns because that's something so far out of my box that I would do right. that now I'm inspired. And I did buy the red pants because I I know those are in season. Yes, those are yes. totally, and I bought the striped red and white cardigan, and I'm going to put my leopard shoes with it. But, you know, I, I just love that And then that you can do the red pants with the pink shirt, and you can be color blocked. Oh, that's true. And then what color would I throw with that? What bag would you throw with that? I would do nude or gold. Nude? Metallics are really great to do with that as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. So for more fashion tips from Sydney Summer at Think Through Fashion, go to our website and click on the Scene On tab. Back to you.